increasing us 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dino, I'm IT Explosive One, and we're going to start the timer. Boom. All right, Jonas. Yes. You have been granted a new million dollar home. Okay, the house is worth $1 million. Million dollar home. But the case is, is that it's either a cruise ship or it's a mansion in the middle of the country, 20 miles from the nearest anything. Okay. Which one do you take? Um, I'm going to take the house, dude. In the middle of nowhere? Yeah. Really? Because um, there's a lot of upkeep on a boat. And if I was granted this, I don't have the money to take. You don't care have of to worry about upkeep. We're just talking about where you would prefer to where you would prefer. Oh, to be. okay. So like like logistics aside, about yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I would probably take the cruise ship then because I could dock it anywhere, mm-hmm. and if I wanted to get away from people, I could just chill in the middle of the ocean and international waters. There's like there's a what? Uh, what you call <laughs> what? What's that? Uh, Implications. Implications. <laughs> Is that what you're getting at? <laughs> yeah, you, you, there's no laws in the water. You can do whatever you want. You, you can have like, just, parties out there. You're not going to start like can, a lowly to boat, are you? No, no, you can have a hostel. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, but, no, I'm joking. But uh, no, dude, because you, like, you, you could just float your cruise ship all over the place. Okay. Dude. If gas and upkeep was not a problem and you could literally take it wherever you wanted, that would be sweet. And you know people would want to come on your boat, dude. You, do, get do, some, you don't get motion sickness? No, not that, not that I, not, I never have no. So, um, see, and you know, my first instinct was definitely to take the boat because it, it honestly, it seems like the most exotic and it seems like, you know, you could have a bunch of people over going a cruise, you know, yeah, right, exactly. on your, on your million dollar boat yacht. But I think I would end up taking the, uh, the home. Okay. For a couple reasons. Um, I've always wanted to live off the grid. Oh, yeah. I've always wanted to live off the grid. I never really wanted, like, a home that I had to do upkeep on, but we're talking upkeep aside. Um, and I don't know. I, I just think it'd be cool to live away from everybody and just be in a nice home in, the, in I don't know, about enough country. <laughs> I'm going with the boat. I can't even, I can't do it. I can't do it, dude. I'm taking the boat. Okay. All I right. need amenities, all right? I don't know what's in this home. But well, I mean, I would say it's a nice house. It's a million dollars, right? Yeah, but there's nothing there, dude. What if I get hungry? Nobody's delivering a pizza to me. Oh, right. Well, then, nobody's delivering pizza to a boat either. But you well, know. that's the thing, man. Like, if oh. you live out, like living out in the country, it sounds great. Like, I would like to live oh. away from people, but I, like it's that it's that fine balance, like. Oh hey, I need milk to make this uh, recipe. Oh, oh I gotta mi- drive forty miles round uh, trip to go get milk. Like, I mean, come on, dude. Like. I ain't doing that. And like, it's like, is Amazon even going to deliver? No, Pizza Hut ain't delivering. Amazon. I mean, Amazon not. will deliver, but you ain't getting two day prime delivery. Oh my god, dude. you know. Like, I mean, but if you live in a boat, they're not. You're not getting that either, are you? Are they delivering to the docks? I mean, you. What are they going to do? Knock on your anchor? You would have to have a uh, PO box. For it. Well, could, could you just have a PO box in the? I mean, I guess it's like where's the nearest? Oh, twenty miles from anything. Yeah, so I mean, nearest like, post office is twenty yeah, miles like away. Yeah, like the twenty. Yeah, you have to drive. Tw- so how long is twenty miles? It takes it takes about twenty minutes. No, no. If you're driving slow, I mean, twenty miles can take a long time. It can. It yeah, can. like We're talking like driving, a thirty minute drive to get to anywhere. Yeah, so if you got to go to the store, it's Jeez. an hour minimum. So you got to now an hour to go in. You got to go to the doctor. You got to go. You got to go get some. That's the thing. And I've always hated like uh, the idea of living in the country for that reason. I'm like, okay, so. What happens if somebody kills me? What happens if I fall and break my hip or something? Yeah. And it's like. Yeah. Cut your hand. You're bleeding out. Nobody's going to know until you're found dead being eaten alive by your cat. Well, yeah. Or even if you really hurt yourself. Like, say you cut your hand and you're bleeding like crazy. And you can even drive yourself to the hospital. Yeah. 30 minutes of bleeding out on the way to the hospital. Like. Exactly. You know, you fall. you A chainsaw accident. You cut your leg. Not off, but nick yourself. Bleeding everywhere. 30 minutes of driving. I'm, I'm a city boy, man. I need to be around the yeah. hospital and people to warn me about potential issues. Oh, yeah, dude. I uh, like I, I've always thought living away from the city would be cool. But I also thought that like it still has to be it has to be one of those situations where you're like. You're still in kind of a small town. Maybe has like a small convenience store and a few little things. And then if you have to yeah. drive to like drive to get to the uh, uh, the big grocery store, you got to drive 15, 20 minutes. Like, 
I can't be without anything. Like I can live in a small town that doesn't have a lot of stuff, but I have to be close enough to a big town to get all the things that I need. Yes. Yes. And an hour round trip for anything is not sound enjoyable. No, it doesn't. I don't. And like some people enough. love that idea, man. There's people who love being far away from everything and love not having yeah, neighbors. But and they stuff. like farms and guns and stuff, dude. I mean, like. And- but that's farm equipment's dangerous. Guns are dangerous. Oh yeah. You accidentally shoot yourself or somebody, like the ambulance is gonna take fifteen, twenty minutes to get there because they're driving fast. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. It would be uh it would be very I mean, but like there's also dangers at sea, yo. You get you get you're out you get caught in a you get caught in a thunderstorm in the middle Thank of the ocean, you. yo. It's okay. Like, I like this. Yes, let's devil's advocate a little bit here. Yeah, like it ain't all you know hit, all rainbows right. and cupcakes. Yeah, for one thing, the ocean stinks. I don't care, ocean. I'm coming for your head. Yeah, ocean, does, you stink. stink. You yeah. smell like fish. Yeah. You smell like fish piss. Okay, number two, boats are disgusting. Yeah. They are gross. They have to be clean constantly. I said that that wasn't a problem, but they are. They're gross. Um, storms, icebergs. Oh yeah, dude. You know, you pirates. Through, like you gotta get through the Panama Canal. What if you're going from like yeah? What if you're trying to go through? You gotta drive all the way around South America. Yeah, I don't want to go around the Strip of the Gama. Yeah. I don't want to do right, that. Exactly. I don't want to do that. Trying to get through the Red Sea and there's a war going on. You oh, know, it's my like God. yo. If we were to put logistics into it, like uh, upkeep and everything, the boat is going to be way more expensive. Well, Docking a boat well, yeah, of that size exactly. is going to be absolutely Oh, nuts. not to mention boats are basically known as money pits. They do oh, nothing yeah. but cost you a billion nothing. dollars. So, in a house, and the thing with the house is once you get the house set up, there's not tons of upkeep. But if you live in the middle of nowhere, you got a giant ass yard you got to take care of. You got yeah. like, you ain't getting a lawn service to drive out an hour to take care of your house. You're paying them a lot of money. Yeah, 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 yeah. If anything, I would say. Uh, if we were to include everything into it, I would take the house and sell it. <laughs> right. <laughs> take right. the house and well, sell it to some Well, you get the house, put work into it, and sell it for more. Like, but, like, I would, like, I've always said if I get, if I get like, land, I would prefer a small yard with a lot of woods mm-hmm. that, like, so I have the land mm-hmm. that I could later develop, but... I don't need to upkeep much of it because I don't want to be out there doing lawn and trimming hedges that and like is the worst. Yeah, like, but I w- I would love to have woods to be able to like cut trails through and like do cool. And if I ever wanted to, I could clear it out and build another house or whatever on the land. But like, you don't have to upkeep woods, man, unless you c- cut a trail through the woods. Like, that's it, dude. Unless like a freaking bobcat is <laughs> or something. Yeah, you put ra- you put a uh, what's that radiator fluid? They drink it. Does that work? No, I don't. I don't know. What the hell, Jonah? Where did you come up yeah, with that? They say that. Uh, they say that. Uh, it's it tastes good for animals. That's why. Yeah. It's, but it kills them. So yeah. I feel like you got a bunch of wild animals running around, man. You just put some put some uh, antifreeze out there. Let yeah. them just yeah. go to town. You know, dude. they actually they had to. Uh, it's it's crazy that I actually know this, but because it does have a, a good taste to it, they had to put a bitterant into it so that kids wouldn't eat it. Yeah. It. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like um, that's but, weird. But yeah, like. I don't know, man. Like, I would like to have some land. I would like to have some woods to explore in and do some, like, just do stuff in. But like, and see, that does nothing for me. I don't want to take. I don't want to take care of a whole big ass yard, dude. I don't want to take care of a boat. I don't either. I don't want to take care of a boat. That's man. why, like, everyone like rags on apartments, dude. But you know what? When when the it's functioning properly, got a night, got a gym. Got a pool, got a hot tub, got a got grills, got and you don't gotta take care of any of it. Your fridge breaks, you say, Hey, my fridge broke, they bring you a new one like within a day. Yeah. My AC broke. You know how much it costs to replace the F and air AC unit, dude? It is expensive as shit. Like, you know, your water main breaks between the house and the lawn. That's your responsibility as a homeowner. That's expensive as hell. Like, yeah, great. My friend was just like Oh yeah, my boyfriend moved in, and I'm t- we're turning the garage into another room, so he has an office and da da da. Yeah, it cost her thousands of dollars to like seal off the garage door, put in electrical, put in an air conditioning unit out there. Like, and I'm like, just because he moved in, you want another house, another room? Like, that's a lot of money, dude. Like, to put into everything in a house is thousands of dollars. Yeah. I don't like spending thousands of dollars on anything. <laughs> I've always been a proponent of the uh, condominium. Which is basically like an apartment you pay for, but you own it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's like an well, a lot of times there's an HOA and they take care of all the stuff. Yeah, exactly. And I yeah. was going to say there's an HOA involved. And you can get a pool. And a lot of times yeah, and you can still get all the amenities that you even get. Like you get a gym, a fitness center, a pool, and other things that come along with it. And but you own it instead of they own it and exactly. you just want the space. So I've always, I've always been in, in the... In the business for like getting a condo, if I were to get anything, but a house is just a lot because a roof, like everything in a house, is degrading over time. Yeah, You're gonna and, have to pay and grant that stuff last. Like, a, if you replace your roof, it's supposed to last 10, 12, 20 years. Mm -hmm. But if you get a shoddy person to put in the roof, dude, it can things can happen. Tornadoes. I mean, grab insurance for all this stuff, mm -hmm. but like, no, dude, I don't know, man. The I still think a boat. Care of, ooh. I still think the boat is worse. <laughs> yeah, I do too. So, <laughs> anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. Yeah, uh, we are up.